Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today is a review video of uh, novel technology for high sensitive detection of cancer. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So let's get into the video. The technology which we are going to discuss today is about ADPS that is the allele discriminating priming system. It is a novel liquid biopsy technology that can analyze cancer mutation with ultra high detection sensitivity. So ADPS is a qPCR based uh, new cancer diagnostic technology and the technology uh, uses to analyze cancer genes with high detection sensitivity through selective amplification of cancer genes without affecting the normal genes. It can be used both in the liquid and the tissue biopsies of uh, first stage cancer diagnosis and uh, residual tumor monitoring. So that is all about the technology. Uh, it can be used in both uh, liquid biopsy as well as the tissue biopsies. So the technology was developed by uh, uh, GeneCast and the GeneCast biotechnology was founded in November 2014. ADPS is the proprietary liquid biopsy platform uh, which is de developed by GeneCast biotechnology that can accurately detect various cancer genes even with only primer probe design. So that is a key advantage of this technology. Uh, even with the uh, primer probe design, only with the primer probe design, this technology can be used in the liquid biopsy segment with very high accuracy. So the GeneCast uh, ADPS system has uh, three major components that is the smart DNA polymerase, primer probe design and the optimized buffer system. So the key uh, component of the ADPS uh, is the smart DNA polymerase. Uh, it's an engineered uh, DNA polymerase which can detect single nucleotide mismatch and uh, thereby selectively amplify the mutant genes only while leaving the wild type genes intact. So you know that uh, in case of um, somatic mutations, uh, there are a large number of wild type DNA sequences and a fraction of mutant sequences. So to enrich that, we need a certain technology that can amplify the, the mutant sequences and enrich that. So if there is a large chunk of uh, wild type that should not be amplified. So th that is a key component which is used in the ADPS system that is the smart DNA polymerase. ADPS uh, smart DNA polymerase can distinguish between uh, primer being perfectly annealed on a template and a three primed end mismatch. So this is a combination of uh, DNA polymerase and the primer design that helps in the discriminating ability that drastically improves the detection uh, sensitivity of mutant genes and by enabling the selective gene amplification. So basically it's a selective gene amplification for enriching the mutant sequences. The enhanced detection sensitivity of ADPS mod DNA polymerase uh, facilitates the uh, accurate analysis of uh, circulating tumor DNA from patients who have early cancer. So that is a key advantage of this technology that it helps in enriching the mutant DNA sequences from the circulating tumor DNA from the patients who have early cancer. This ADPS uh, smart DNA polymerase can also be used in various other molecular diagnostic procedures like uh, NIPT and in uh, transplantation tests that requires the discernment. So NIPT is uh, the non-invasive prenatal testing where this uh, test can be done non-invasively. So that is the major advantage of this technology. The performance of the smart DNA polymerase can further enhanced by optimizing the primer probe design as well as the buffer system. So those are the three major components of the ADPS system. The one is the small DNA polymerase, primer probe design and the optimized buffer system. Polymerase uh, can discriminate the, the three prime mismatch and thereby only enriching the mutant sequences. So we're coming to the uh, different advantages of this system is that uh, it has an ultra high sensitive uh, detection. Uh, this detection sensitivity is up to 0.01 percentage of the mutant sequence in a large chunk of wild type sequences. Uh, the accurate diagnosis requires only single tube of blood or it can be done. This test can be the cancer diagnosis can be done uh, non-invasively you know, by drawing blood. So, uh, generally what happens is that in case uh, if you want to detect the cancer, we have to do a tissue biopsy. So liquid biopsy comes uh, comes there. Uh, the advantage of that is a non-invasive technique and it has a short turnaround time of around two hours to three hours from the uh, starting from uh, DNA extraction to the final result. The cost effective platform that does not require any expensive equipment because 
This is relying on the QPCR technique, so it's very cost effective and a simple instrument can be used for generating the results. And the results are very concordant between the tissue and liquid biopsies. Uh, this can detect uh, various genetic modification like uh, uh, single nucleotide variations, indel and gene fusions. All these can be detected using this technology. And the heterogeneity uh, analysis of this uh, ctDNA is also possible. It can be applied uh, in uh, precision medicine or in the personalized medicine and it can be uh, expanded to uh, apply in uh, various uh, clinical platforms that requires the SNP uh, discrimination. And uh, this can be applied as earlier mentioned, this can be uh, used in both tissue as well as the liquid biopsies. And let's see what is the limitation of the emerging technology that is the liquid biopsy. So liquid biopsy uh, is a non-invasive diagnostic approach uh, involving the isolation of uh, circulating tumor markers such as cell free nucleic acids and the circulating tumor cells from peripheral blood. When there is, there is a cancerous cells or the tumor, the cells shed from that passes through the blood circulation. So once we collect the blood, we can isolate the cell free nucleic acid and the cell free circulating tumor cells or the circulating tumor DNA from the blood and that can be used for the detection of uh, early detection of cancer. The rapid rise of uh, liquid biopsy in cancer diagnosis is a direct result of its uh, non-invasive nature and also it is very economical compared to tissue biopsy and it can be done repetitively without harming the patient or without causing any distress to the uh, patient. It is especially the circulating tumor DNA or the ctDNA liquid biopsy that stands in the spotlight of the liquid biopsy market. Uh, ctDNA is more uh, efficient than other biomarkers like uh, circulating tumor cells or the extracellular vesicles. While uh, liquid biopsy is rapidly emerging as an alternate to tissue biopsy, it is not a very gold standard for cancer diagnosis because of the fact that uh, the technology limitations of uh, liquid biopsy that prevents the precise analysis of trace amounts of biomarkers from the body fluids. Because the amount of uh, uh, DNA that is out from the peripheral blood is very low and it has a large chunk of wild type DNA and only a fraction of uh, mutant, DNA, mutant DNA. And if the technology that can accurately detect ctDNA in the blood becomes available, the ctDNA liquid biopsy will be usable throughout the entire process of cancer diagnosis and eventually it can uh, even replace the tissue biopsy. So let's see what is uh, lacking in the in terms of uh, detection sensitivity for uh, liquid biopsy. So according to various reports, uh, detection sensitivity of uh, 0.01% to 1% is required to analyze the ctDNA from early stage patients but uh, uh, currently the liquid biopsy technology fails to achieve the detection sensitivity of 0.01 percentage. Although uh, the ctDNA is uh, an effective specimen throughout the entire cycle of cancer, the technology's limitation make it clinical use very difficult. And uh, some of the uh, recent efforts uh, such as the droplet uh, digital PCR which claim to have reached uh, this sensitivity but uh, actually in uh, reality the testing methods are very uh, complex and cannot be applied on large scale due to the economic constraints and uh, therefore the liquid biopsy could replace tissue biopsy only when it achieves the detection sensitivity of 0.01 percentage. The another obstacle in the widespread uh, application of liquid biopsy is the false positive. So since the detection of sensitivity is limiting factor in enabling the widespread use of liquid biopsy, many companies are uh, competing to improve the detection sensitivity. Currently the practical detection sensitivity of uh, circulating tumor DNA with a good quality remains around 0.1 to 1 percentage. It is mainly due to the false positives uh, that are arising due to the gene amplification. When there is a large chunk of wild type DNA uh, is present, the wild type uh, uh, sequence amplification can occur that cause uh, false positives. The gene cast uh, ADPS technology can analyze ctDNA with a very high sensitivity threshold as low as uh, 0.01 percentage and this results in the reduced number of false positives or it is free of false positives. So due to this technology, ADPS technology can be a game changer in the liquid biopsy segment for the cancer diagnosis and can replace tissue biopsies. That will be a game changer in the world of uh, cancer diagnosis. Hope you like this video. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.